Universal Pictures presents everything you always wanted to do in high school with everyone you always wanted to do it with. Hey, bud. <laughs> Let's party. They're the students of Ridgemont High. Uh -huh. That was my skull. I'm so wasted. See Fast Times at Ridgemont High. All right, so... Fast Times at Ridgemont High is my favorite movie ever, and the reason I love it so much is because I've never seen a movie give out a message so much, and that message is basically just be yourself and enjoy your time on this planet. Like, you got one shot to do this, and time is just of the essence. Like, you gotta strive for where you wanna be, and you gotta enjoy every moment you're blessed with. Enjoy your friends, your family, everything. Everything you encounter in life. The screenplay is tremendous. The production, the direction, and the actors are phenomenal. Sean Penn absolutely kills it playing Jeff Spicoli. Jeff Spicoli was probably the greatest character of the 80s. He ordered pizza in school. He smoked weed every day. He was the man. So the movie was released in 1982, it was rated R, and it was 90 minutes long. It's basically just a story about a group of kids who go to high school, that's their senior year, they're from California, and they basically just enjoy, you know, girls, the mall, and just having a good time, pretty much, partying. Cameron Crowe wrote the screenplay for the movie, and Amy Heckerling, I believe, directed it. It was a very, very successful hit at the box office, but it became more famous in the 90s when after Days of Confusion was released. It started getting some comparisons with that movie and both were classified as very good high school movies but Fast Times at Ridgemont High is probably the best ever. Simply because it's amazing and I love it. And I want my high school experience to be like that. The music in the movie is phenomenal. Um, a lot of classic rock. You got your Zeppelin. You got your Tears for Fears. What else you got? Some stones. The soundtrack is pretty awesome. And just like the way it's shot, um, the different angles, the way the lighting comes in, the way it pans around the screen, everything is just brilliant. It's a brilliant piece of work. It really is. The reviews for the movie were very, very, very well. Uh, all the critics basically complimented on its realness, um, the production, the direction, everything. The acting was very well, the commentary was just phenomenal. A lot of great classic scenes, funny scenes, and memorable scenes. And a lot of inspiring scenes as well. And that's basically why I love the movie. It had a little bit of everything. It, just, like, it displayed the true, the true meaning of high school. And that is just to have a good time and enjoy yourself while it lasts. Because before you know it, it's going to be gone. And you're going to have to face the real world one day. But when you're a teen, when you're a kid... It's all games.